Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kevin Small and today we have another gaming news update for you. And this time it's about the FIFA branding. As you might have heard, FIFA, yeah that FIFA from EA, is probably dropping their name next year. Well, only the name, everything else stays the same. But they don't really want to pay like millions and millions anymore just for the name. And people were interested to know which name they would choose. Now, it seems like that we know which branding name it is. Keep in mind, this is not fully confirmed. This is just EA just put in a new trademark. And that trademark reads EA Sports FC, probably for football club. Yeah, so that might be the new name FIFA will be using next year. And I'm, I'm really curious about that. Like the name itself, EA Sports FC, <sighs> reminds me a little bit when Pro Evolution Soccer was basically dropping their name to eFootball. And we all know where that ended in. But, like, I, I really wonder how many people will have never heard of this. And then when the next FIFA would come out, they're looking for FIFA, they don't see it. And they're just like, oh, right, no FIFA this year. Oh, that's weird. All right, well, then I'll wait for next year. Like, I wonder how long it takes till FIFA fans are realizing that their FIFA game is now called EA Sports FC. And you might say, well, they will probably hear about it, right? Yeah, here's the thing, though. Like, a lot of people who are playing FIFA, they basically only play two games on their console. And that's FIFA. And that's Call of Duty. And they don't care for anything else. They don't read about gaming news. They don't know what's going on in the big gaming industry. Like, they, they literally do not care. They buy a new console every six years so they can play the upgraded versions of FIFA and Call of Duty. And that's why FIFA and Call of Duty are still making so much money because it's one of those games which just draw in the people, like, no matter what. And it's a very, very open brand for everyone. And I know some people would just call it, just call it a casual game. Look, I know people want to sling that around, but man, have you seen the hours some people put into FIFA games or even like Call of Duty games? I it's crazy. They only play those games, but they play them a lot. So I wouldn't, call FIFA nor Call of Duty a casual game ever. It's just like it has a broad appeal and they basically established themselves as the go-to game. Like no matter what, in a broad audience. And I really wonder how much EA Sports FC will have the same ring to it than FIFA 2020 or FIFA 23 or something like that. Right? So... Yeah, we will we will see how that name will be adapted and how people will actually recognize the name. But I wouldn't be surprised if next year, if they're really switching out the name, if they're actually selling less units than usual because of that. Because a lot of people just look for the brand name. Now I can also fully understand EA here that they don't really want to sell millions and millions of money um, just to have the name FIFA. Like, apparently the naming rights is the most expensive thing. Like, nobody cares for the players, nobody cares for the faces or anything. It's literally that you are allowed to use the name FIFA is what really is expensive. So, we will see how that goes. I'm kind of curious, yeah. But with that said, 
we are done with the news. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this gaming news and you want to see more, I would appreciate if you might consider to leave a like on your way out. If you didn't like this video for whatever reason, well, there's a dislike button right next to it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more gaming news, tips and tricks, new releases, reaction to trailers, and the whole gaming shebang, I would also appreciate if you might consider to subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a great deal. If you do that, please don't forget to click on the bell icon, because if you don't do that, then you subscribe to the channel, but you will never hear from me ever again, because YouTube is not notifying you when I'm doing something without the bell icon. It's weird, but that's how it works. So if you subscribe, I would appreciate if you also click on the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Stay safe.